A warm welcome to Rehab My Patient. Let's go through the site in a really thorough way. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant site. So when you first log in, you'll be offered the choice of your different teams or clinics um, or locations. Um, it depends how you set it up. Um, that's if you've got a multi-clinic license. If you've just got one clinic or an individual user, it will log straight in. Let's select my team. OK, so this is the patient dashboard. This is where all your patients will be stored and that allows you to quickly um, access each patient. You can search for a patient and you can select different clinics. You can also select different practitioners so you can filter the patient list. Good. Now let's go through the top menu. So you've got create new plan, um, your patient list. This is templates for, um, for creating a template. Add your own exercises and advice sheets on my exercises. Tele rehab for a virtual call. Your statistics and that of your team. And of course, contact us. At the top, you can select your language. You can choose which clinic you want to use or which team you want to use. Very importantly, the settings, um, which is where you can um, modify and tweak the site to how you want it. Um, if you're on a trial user, you can start your subscription by clicking this button and this will tell you how many days left you've got. We have also a star ranking system, so the more you use the site, it works your level up to a star based system and you can change the date to see how many exercises, uh, exercise plans you're prescribing. Now the first thing we might want to do is to add a patient. So you can click this ring button, add new patient. Now, we would put in first name and last name. If you put in a title, it will refer to your patient as Mr. Jones, Mrs. Smith, Dr. Dr. Jones, um, and so this makes it more formal, but you don't have to input the title. In fact, the only things you have to input are the first name and last name. And you can put in an email address as well, if it's very, very, very useful. If you want to send SMS or WhatsApp, you can add the phone number. You can select line art or photo by default, um, and there's a patient consent box for ticked, uh, is ticked by default. You can untick that from the settings if you want to actively click patient consent. When you've added all your patient information, just click add new and create new plan. So this is where we find the exercises. There's lots and lots of exercises and Sometimes this page can be a little bit daunting or confusing because it's a, it's a bit scary at first because it is such a large database. But don't worry, it gets easier. So first of all, you probably want to select the category. Let's say our patient's got shoulder pain. We can go to these exercises here and we can add the particular exercises. Now, a key thing you see is that these exercises are all hearted or liked as favorites. This is um, a really, really useful little function because what it does is you can see it puts my favorites at the top of the screen. So it makes prescribing really, really quick. We all like to prescribe what we like to prescribe and we typically do come back to similar exercises. If you don't like the exercise, you can also hide it. There's a cool little hide button. You may just think this exercise is nonsense and I'll never use this exercise, so you can hide it. But the favorite option is really, really useful. So looking at the categories and how to select um, exercises. So we've got exercises labeled depending on the movement um, and also depending sometimes on what they do. So for example, we've got circumduction. This will show you your circumduction exercises. Um, we've got extension, abduction. We've got different movements. We've got strength, strengthening, stability exercises, retraction. Um, we've even got some posture and some dumbbell exercises, some exercise band exercises and we've got advice sheets as well. So there's really a broad category of all sorts of information for shoulder pain. Now with the advice section we've got over 485 MSK advice sheets. So we've got pretty much everything you can think of in terms of a diagnosis. So if your patient comes in with rotator cuff tendinopathy you can add the advice sheets and give them the, the correct information as advice really 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 useful. Once I've created my exercise plan here it is. If I, if I want I can change the 
um, the title of the exercise and I can change the description. I can also move the exercise around a bit just to change the order and I need to click this up down arrow. If I prefer line art images I can switch to line art. You'll always want to put in a plan name and then select your patient. If you haven't added your patient by this stage just click the plus button. This is the safety netting section. Now we've added this by default to all new users however if this is not ticked you can add it by default. Safety netting is one of those things that might just save your career. You never know when a patient comes in and then develops something really serious. So this prints a serious alert message onto each exercise plan and you can also add different red flags. Let's say a patient comes in with um, uh, potential uh, uh, trauma after shoulder pain, so they might have had a fall and you're worried there could be a fracture. You can just put in a trauma fracture red flag and that will provide additional information on the advice sheet, uh, on, on the exercise plan. If you want you can use tracking as well and this is really good except that it does require good patient compliance to follow and input the tracking. Press continue. Now here is where you put in your sets and reps. So I'm going to repeat this exercise 15 times and do it twice a day. Okay, I'm going to repeat this for one minute and do this five times a day. So you've got quite a lot of flexibility with with, with, with this layout. You can change this layout and the settings as well. You can click both sides if you prefer. So a lot of this can be customised. Press save and here's my exercise plan. That looks good, I'm happy with that and now I'm just going to simply email it to my patient. And there it's gone. Very, very, very quick. So super way to email plans. It's useful just to show you the um, the, the, the dashboard for the patient. So let's go through that. Here's my patient dashboard and again it might look a little bit confusing at first but don't worry it will make much more sense once you get used to it. So first thing to note is these are where your exercise plans are. They're all dated in date order and a practitioner is listed here. And you can do quick um, quick tools here just to, if you need to edit it quickly or email it or print it or even export it as a template or download it. You've got quick buttons here which just saves you opening up the plan. Another thing that is really really useful is this history and delivery logs. So this shows you when the exercise plan was delivered and in many cases when the exercise plan was opened. So sometimes patients will come in and say I never received the exercises but you've got a tracking method here that will show when the exercises were delivered and in many cases when they were opened. If I want to open a plan I can just click one of these exercise plan names and there's my plan. I'm just going to go back to the patient dashboard. Now there's other sections on here that are quite useful. We've got a clinical note section here which I won't go into detail right now but I'll explain in a different video. Um, we've got a tele rehab session here section here and again I won't go into detail of this now but I just wanted to make aware of that. You can add a clinical note, create a plan or create a meeting from these three buttons up here. Thanks for watching this video. Enjoy Rehab My Patient.